hope you enjoyed the electromagnetism lab. Let's have a closer look at how electric currents can be used to create magnetism. First, let's get a background on electromagnetism. Electromagnetism can be used to explain many phenomena that we see in everyday life. If we look at some of the tiniest particles in existence, atoms, we can see electromagnetism at its finest. Atoms consist of a nucleus, surrounded by a cloud of electrons which are bound to the atom by electromagnetic waves. Up until 1873, people and scientists believed electricity and magnetism were two completely different concepts. However, scientist James Clerk Maxwell proved otherwise. Maxwell discovered that charges in electricity were governed by a certain force, which he found out was magnetism. In your lab, you created an electromagnet, which is an instrument used to create a magnetic field. You connected conducting wire to a battery and wrapped that wire around a nail. Before a current was introduced to the nail, all the atoms in the nail were randomly arranged. The current from the battery created the magnetic field around the wire and caused the atoms in the nail to align in the same direction. This increased the size of the magnetic field and made the nail a magnet. Once the electric current in the nail is turned off, the atoms in the nail return to a random state and it is no longer magnetic. Can you think of a way to make the magnetic field stronger? Wrapping the wire around the nail more will increase the magnetic field around the nail. Thanks for watching. Before you go, think about this. The Earth is one big electromagnet. Earth's iron core creates a magnetic field around Earth, and when the sun's radiation hits that field, auroras can be formed.